Hey everybody and welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday. It's your girl Anja and I'm here with an incredible talented artist, Nell Tech. She does it all really. She gets close to the stars. She has been featured on Steve Harvey. She's my personal favorite celebrity Nell Tech, Ingrid. Thank you. How Thank are you? you. Great. What about yourself? I'm so good. I'm so happy that I was able to catch you. You're such a busy person. So I think thank, you thank have, you. okay, you have a great story that I think everybody should hear. So this is why I think you're so great. Well, I have a list of reasons, but <laughs> tell me why. Okay, hold on. I'm just like all over the place. So you are a celebrity nail tech, right? Yes, that's correct. So mm -hmm. let's just start from the beginning of your story. Okay. What made you become, like, when did you fall in love with nail polish? Since I was, uh, since I was a baby, I just, I used to always paint my own nails. I still started with my toes first and then I went to school and when I majored in, it was totally different from what I'm doing right now, you know? Mm -hmm. So I went to school and I got my associates in science. And I just ended up being my own business uh, business owner, you know. I was a manager at an, uh, a salon in Midtown in Miami. It was called Nail Bar. Mm -hmm. And then from there, that's where I met all my famous celebrity friends. And then from connections from there, it just started. I was there for three years. And then once I left, all my clients followed me. Oh, my goodness. It was kind of scary at first when I decided to leave and, you know, to start my own business. Yeah. It was scary, but I was like, you know what? Let's just go for it. And here I'm today. So tell me more about how scared you were and, like, what it was like to branch out. Because I know, um, I think when I first started, well, I fell in love with nail polish a long time ago when I was a kid as well. When you had the little nail polish, yeah. you would peel off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that yes. was like my jam. I was like, oh, I love this world. So, um, and I also went to college and did a hard pivot too. I was like, oh, I also need to go to beauty school. So about how, so I think I had a misconception, like when I first graduated, like beauty school, like you have to be in yeah. a salon or a hair, like that's kind of what they teach. They don't really, well, my school didn't really go into other opportunities. So how was that for you? And how scary was that? Because that is off the beaten path. Okay, actually, I really didn't have anybody to teach me anything. I learned everything on my own. Yeah. So I just kept every year it was just a new opportunity. And by the way, I also taught, like I was teaching at a beauty school as well. So when I was teaching my students, I taught them, don't think that you have to sit at a salon. Being a nail artist, you can do so much. You can work behind movie scenes, TV shows, video shoots, uh, model shoots. There's agencies that you can sign, uh, sign up with. There's so much that you can do in this industry that a lot of people do not know about. No, they don't talk you know, about it. I had to, yeah, they don't talk about it. But when I was teaching for three years, I, I taught my, 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 my students about that. There's a lot of people that do not want to spread the knowledge. I don't know why, but I'm not like that. Oh, I'm so glad that they why add they you for that. that. It's like secret yeah. or I don't know what it is, but it's not common knowledge that there's more to do than just sit at like the mall doing nails all day. Yeah, there's so much more you can do. Like right now, I have my salon for seven years. I sold it. Once I had the salon, I was also doing the mobile for my celebrity clients. Mm -hmm. So I had a, I started off with just me and this one other girl. And that ended up having 11 girls and a hairstylist. That is total was so cool. Yeah. So when I had the salon, I was also doing the mobile. So I had both. So then it came to a time that I was doing a lot and I sold the salon and today I still have the mobile business. So oh, and it's just word of mouth. You have to learn how to have customer service, be kind to people. You got to always remember that you're providing a service. Mm -hmm. So you have to, anything that you do in life, you have to like put your 100% to it. You know, That's a you don't know if you're going to make it or not, if you don't try. So to me, it's like, I'm going to go, let's see what happens. I love that. So, I'm, yeah. okay. so my question is like, what is it like being on set? I know one time I was like following you and I got so excited because I think Gabrielle Union was doing like a photo shoot for New York and company. And like you got to like, yes. what is that like? 
Um, Gabby, I love Gabby. She was my client for like 14 years. Her and her husband, mm -hmm. Dwayne. They're the most sweetest people. She's just amazing. And she refers me to a lot of people. And being behind the set is is a lot of commotion. Mm -hmm. and, and you're there all day, you know, but it's so worth it because it's so much fun. Yeah, she's uh, one of the ambassadors for New York and Company. She has her own line, too, so Ooh. if nobody knows that, yeah. So my question is... She's amazing. I love her. Oh, my God. I, love I like, her. love her I, as a fan because I don't know her. Like, you know her, but I, I am watching her. I've been with her literally since Bring It On, okay? Like... Wow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. She's amazing. She's she's great. Uh, there's nothing I can say. They're amazing. They're amazing people. Oh, that's so good to hear. So you deal yeah. with some incredible people. And so for me being a nail tech, how do you keep up with all the trends? Because I feel like it starts to move really fast. How do you Okay? Well, me being on Instagram, being online on two, three o'clock in the morning, watching videos, watching this and that, especially when I was teaching, mm -hmm. I just didn't want to teach the basics. So every day I had a group chat with all my students and we'll go over the basics. The first thing you go over is hygiene, how to protect you and your client. Mm -hmm. And you know, the basic that the teachers go in there from there will keep over the trends. Every day we'll do something different. I mean, I think every day they're coming out with something new. So it's new. really hard to keep up. Yeah. So I think the best way, so you don't drive yourself crazy, find two or three things that you like and, keep, and stick to it. But always, you know, education is ongoing and never stops. Yeah, I definitely wish I had you as my teacher because when I got out of a beauty yeah, school, I, I was like, I am going to get this. Like, I got everything that was popular. And I realized two yeah. seconds after I spent my entire budget on all this, like, popular stuff, it, every, like, clients were like, well, that's yeah. old. And I'm like, but I still have, like, a lot of it. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's the thing. So since since if you find something like that you like, like I said, just keep pushing it on your page or website and push it onto your clients, and then you can switch it up and turn it into your own mode. You know, uh -huh. that's the whole thing about being an artist. You know, so you so, got to find find your tweak, find what you like. So, what's your like favorite? Do you have like a favorite go to thing that you like? I love to do anything with geometric lines. I love anything with lines. Yeah. I love lines. That's that's my thing. And then like the blooming gel came out. I was doing a lot of that. Yeah. The alcohol ink. Um, what else is that? Now that the oppressed uh, nails are out, I love doing those. Yes. Yes, those are out. They last you a really long time too. Um, those are my favorites. And I the, the structure gel, that's another thing that I teach my students. I love the structure gel. Oh, the builder gel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your that's, thing? I love the yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> yeah. What would you say was like the hardest thing about like either booking celebrity clients or like trying to run a business and have celebrity clients and like keeping it all together? Like how do you it was, okay, so when I had the shop and I was still doing the mobile, I have a family, I have a son and daughter, mm -hmm. so I was a mom as well. So it was it was a lot to do all three. I managed it and I did it for a very long time. This was I had to make the decision mm -hmm. of like to sell one of the businesses because when it came to a lot of family events, I was always the last one there. Ugh, yeah. And sometimes my family would get upset at me. Sometimes I won't be able to make it because I have the salon, the mobile, and then Christmas time comes, the holidays comes. That's money Those making are, time. Working. Yeah, that's the hours are very lengthy. So mm -hmm. that's why I decided to just sell the salon because the mobile is more better for me. Now with the traffic in Miami is like, is it nice? Miami's getting crazy with this <laughs> Yeah, it's getting, it's getting crazy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, and just, just keeping up um, texting. The best way to keep up with your clients, even if you have a salon or you're doing mobile, before you leave your client, would you like to book for the next two weeks or you would like to book for the next Book your clients, confirm your appointments. 
right when you're with and i find that a lot of nail techs now too are putting on like uh before you book an appointment with them they want to deposit because believe it or not things happen in life some people don't but they do forget mm -hmm. and some people do not respect for your business that so part. you got to be discreet yeah to decide if you keep somebody's deposit or not i actually i ask for a deposit now mm -hmm. if i don't know the person a new client i do ask for a deposit but after a while, you know your clients and you know who they are, who does what, and you're just up to it. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that. Like, I've met people and they're like, oh my God, you're actually here. I'm like, why? Do you know how many times I've booked and that? Like, it's bad. That's terrible. It's bad. So, do you ever, what's like some adversity or some hardship during this industry? Um, that you face that you really had to sit back and be like, do I want to be doing this? Is this, you know? The overworking part. Uh, like, just the grind of it. Nonstop. Yeah, just back to back, back to back. Sometimes I'm in the car like, oh, I'm just tired. <laughs> but like, I wake up tomorrow and I'm okay with it. I shake it off. Yeah, for sure. I don't need to complain too much. Is it hard on your body? Do you feel like it's like I know pedicures for me? Sometimes I feel like <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, listen, even if you sit correctly, I've been doing this for what, 19 years already. Mm -hmm. The pedicures still get to me. Yeah, they hurt. They, I didn't like. Yeah, yeah. You don't really realize it, but you bust several of those out, and I feel, I feel it. You feel it at nighttime. When you're <laughs> going all day, you're not going to feel it. As soon as you stop is when the pain comes in. Yeah. You know? But it's, like, totally worth it. I mean, I have bought my home. I put my kids through school. Like, you can, you can do it. You don't have to be stuck at a salon. You don't. I think that is, like, you the biggest not. thing that I want people to know you is, don't. like, there are levels. Like, I mean, if you want to be at a salon, like, cool. But, like, you can literally just keep going you could you could be an educator um there's agencies that you could get online like modeling agencies they have a part for the artists mm -hmm. they need people to do makeup hair and nails and your agent will call you i've been called several times by my agent there's agencies in new york and california and if you're willing to travel they, they'll take you around the world that's so, there's cool. so much you can do with that yeah there's a lot because you so did Miami my, Swim Week no. and you've done like Macy uh, and Bloomingdale's and just. I've done, I did New York Fashion Week for five years. What? I've done Swim Weeks many years. Um, I've done a lot of events with Dior, Gucci, all the designers and Macy's, Bloomingdale, Saks, Neiman's. And these are all through word of mouth and connections and people that I meet. Uh, that's and so it's not good. through the salon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you networking, <laughs> you know? And that's another thing, you gotta keep up with people, you know? And then this year we did, me and my other two friends, we did the Miami opening, the tennis event. Mm -hmm. We were there for a whole week, that was amazing. I saw the famous tennis players, that was really, really nice. That's so cool. You know? Yes, yes. So who do you, like, nobody gets where they're at alone. You said connections, connections, but, like, in the earlier stages, who was the person that was like, you can really do this, like, outside of yourself? Um, or who's your motivation, okay. okay, or inspiration? How about that? Okay, well, just uh, however you want to take the question, then. <laughs> is that <laughs> I... So when I was working at that nail salon in Midtown, like, um, I don't know, I met a girl and they were working at a club somewhere and I did the girls backstage. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I could be doing this. Like I, I'm the type that just start thinking like, okay, I could do this. Let's, let's put this together. And then I looked at my best friend. I was like, we could do this mobile. No, this Long is city here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then from there. I started getting little mobile clients here and there. And then I told my clients, hey, listen, I think I'm leaving. Da, 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 da. They're like, okay, make sure you keep in contact with us. And the day that I left that salon, that whole week I was booked. Shut and from up. there, I did not stop. Yeah, I did not stop. There was no, 
in between breaks, nothing. Why were you even scared and worried and nervous then? Because, like, that's I old. was just like, because it's a new stuff. And, like, um, one of my biggest um, clients, too, is the owners of the Heat. I really want to thank uh, Jenna, mm -hmm. Green, and Nick um, Erickson. They're uh, the owners of the Heat and mm -hmm. the owner of Carnival. They connected me a lot with a lot of the basketball players and a lot of people that I know. And they're still my clients to this day, so. I love that. And she, I met her at that salon. Did you? So I met Jenna. I met I met her at Nail Bar. So from that day on in 2010, and where we're in 2022, there you go. Blessings on blessings on <laughs> blessings, yes. On blessings on blessings on blessings, yes. <laughs> That's correct. So yeah, do you so. ever, though, since you are around such incredible people, do you ever either have to get rid of people from your life or do you ever have to dodge like clients that only want you so they can try and access like you know any of any people that you touch no i i'm very faithful to my clients i'm not gonna prefer this one over that one because let me tell you something i love my celebrity clients like gabby they were with me for between 10 to 14 years mm -hmm. but then tend to leave they tend to move when it's time for a new job. They tend to go to some city, to different mm -hmm. cities. Sometimes they'll call you to go out there. Sometimes they'll just find a new nail tech, you know? So my two week clients, one week clients, listen, if you book your spot at two o'clock, two o'clock it is. Oh. oh, I have Melissa at two o'clock. I can see you at four, six o'clock. I'm very fair. I'm not. Oh, like I that. love that. I think yeah, that I'm speaks a, a lot like to your, you know, character. Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not like that though. Mm -mm. But do you I, ever I do think that. anybody like comes, like anybody ever, you know, some people don't have the best intentions at heart and to keep yourself safe, do you ever have to feel like you have to either turn down a client or do you ever feel bad vibes because they want to get to you, but they're trying to get to your status. You know what I mean? I've never felt that way. And if they were trying to do that, it didn't even come near me. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, that one time I did have an accident. Like this girl started following me because my son, he's older. And he had, she, she had a crush on my son. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess she saw that I, that, you know, oh, her mom does nails. His mom does nails. Mm -hmm. So the girl, I go to her house. I'm like, ah, oh, nice to meet you. She starts talking to me about my son. I'm like, what? I was like, and I told my son, I was like, you got these girls stalking me. <laughs> You need to talk to him about any of those. Be like, I'm not your hookup. <laughs> no, I can't do nothing for you like that. No, yeah, that happened. Oh that my happened. goodness. Yeah, that did happen. All right. So for all the beautiful people out here that love nails as much as we love nails, what advice do you have for them? The last little gem you can give them to be like, you can be like me. Like, what do you have to say? Okay. Uh, don't give up on your dreams. Uh, if somebody gives you any type of negative advice, don't listen to that. Um, you want something, speak on it. And the earth, the earth is going to give it right back to you. And I pray a lot. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to accomplish something, I stay focused on it. Just don't give up on yourself. Keep going until you get it right. You know, nobody's perfect. Oh, my goodness. Is there anywhere you yes. want anybody to follow you on Instagram or any other social platform? Yes. Yes, you guys can follow me at uh, Nails by Ingrid uh, underscore mobile underscore service. And I do have my, my website, Nails by Ingrid mobile service .com. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. It is. You've been watching Talk Thank to Me Tuesday. <laughs> yes. We are so excited to have the celebrity Nell Tech here with us. She gave us all the gems, all the teas. She is yes. even more incredible than I thought she was. Ooh. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much. And I thank you so much for having me. Of I really appreciate course. it. Of course. Yes. You can find me at it's your girl underscore Anja once again at it's your girl underscore A-N-J-A. And so thank you once again to Ingrid, our celebrity Nell host.